everyone. Uh, this is Bleu Negofic, VP Strategy and Business Development on Axido. And I'm very happy to be talking today about uh, a topic that has been very hot for the past 18 months, which is should pay TV uh, operators uh, invest in the content aggregator model? Um, and I'm very happy to welcome Halim, who has uh, over 15 years of experience uh, in Asia Pacific working with operators, uh, who's going to give us a stake on, on, on the topic. So thanks, Halim, for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Blue. Great. So let's dive, let's dive into it right away. So as I said, uh, since 18 months, we've seen more and more operators adopting the aggregator model. While content aggregation is not a new term, uh, doing it on a digital platform, catering for the OTT audience is still a craft that many try to master. But given the complexity and effort, um, is it, my first question is, is it worth it? It's absolutely worth it. And beyond that, in my humble opinion, it's no longer an option not to embrace this. Pay TV operators, uh, whether they like it or not, they have to embrace this business model for many reasons. Um, oh, but that's that's very uh, <laughs> bullish of you. So definitely clear to you that uh, the market is, is not allowing operators any longer to uh, compete uh, than with uh, the rest of the video ecosystem. So can you tell us a bit more uh, and give us three reasons why should they invest in the aggregator model more than happy to do that blue my reason number one for pay tv operators to embrace content aggregation model is to remain relevant competition is increasing many direct to comp uh, direct to consumer ott brands entering the market pay tv operators subscription is no longer growing and in this context, while the competition is increasing and your subscription is declining, if you can't beat them, why don't join them? Operators need to embrace the competition. They need to build on everyone's strength in the industry. Let the OTT service providers do what they do best and you leverage that strength for your own existence. Mm. Reason number two, for them to introduce new revenue streams. Content acquisition could be much faster now. You can bring multiple OTT brands and give the consumers an umbrella offering. This in return gives operators more insights on what consumers are looking for, enabling operators to propose new content constantly and very quickly. Mm -hmm. The more they understand what the people are watching, the better they can monetize the content by syndicating it and providing a targeted over advertising over it. And to conclude that, my reason number three will be maintaining a trust and brand position. The importance of maintaining the brand position in each household, not even a household, building a trust with each member of the household is the new aim for these operators. Every member with an individual device should and need to be catered uniquely as the content conception patterns is no longer dynamic, but it's also ever changing. Hmm. But that's very interesting. So. Uh, it's very clear that they need to uh, embrace this model to stay relevant, to create a new revenue stream, whatever it's via targeting advertising or 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 uh, even content syndication. And they need even more to maintain trust, which is their bread and butter, right? And and their brand. Absolutely. Uh, very interesting. And thanks for all of this. So just one quick last word. Um, Anything that you're specifically monitoring in the market related to that trend? As we have seen recently across Asia Pacific, major studios from Hollywood or even from Bollywood removing their linear content offering, sometimes multiple channels at one go from the PTV bookies. And that confirms the need for the PTV operators to play the role as a content aggregator so that they can continue to provide a rich content catalog to their loyal subscribers. You do not want to lose the catalog just because your studio is going direct to consumer. That's very, very interesting. Thanks a lot, Alim, for sharing all of this with us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Blue.